name's Avery Bowen, and I'm an environmental services intern with the Natural Resources Department. An environmental services intern is a member of the Natural Resources crew. Essentially, we have like senior maintenance aides and environmental science interns are like entry-level members of the crew. One of them requires a bachelor's degree, one of them doesn't. Help with the roundabout things such as what we're doing today, burn piles, um, invasive weed management, working with endangered wildlife. We get to do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, today we are burning piles. That These piles have been something that they've been wanting to burn for a while and the conditions are right. I graduated with a legal studies degree, so I kind of like didn't really know what I wanted to do, maybe environmental law, but I found this position and like I just really like working outdoors. I like working, you know, this is such a beautiful workplace and it's hard work, but it's like there's a difference between like physical work and like mental work and I feel like this way I can kind of like exert a lot of energy and have a really good time doing it and also it's just it feels good to do this I feel like I have a purpose and I'm really helping out um, and also my crew crew's pretty cool so <laughs> when I first started I was actually surprised by the amount of women on our crew so right now yeah we do have a predominantly female crew which is really cool it's really nice to work with a lot of other women in this field just because like it is pretty male, male dominated mm -hmm. um, and we're all kind of like on the same level, some of us more experienced than others, but it's definitely, it's really cool. It's really cool. Me, I didn't know I wanted to do this until I graduated and I didn't have a degree in it. Um, and there's definitely ways that you can do it, like looking for entry level positions. I think that just being a little stubborn about it, you know, like sometimes it can be kind of hard to get these types of jobs, especially in Santa Cruz, there's kind of a demand for it. But just, you know, don't give up. It's a lot of fun and having good attitude goes a long way. And I feel like a lot of us obviously aren't doing this for the money. We're doing it for, you know, the stuff we get to do and how we get to help the environment. So.